Zagorje is the northern part of Croatia that borders Slovenia and Hungary. It's known for rolling countryside, forested hills, and centuries-old castles built by nobles. The region has about 300,000 people spread out in villages and farms and small cities home to Baroque architecture and art galleries. I really like Zagorje cuisine. It's homey and meaty, and they've got some famous local dishes like strukli and soneci goulash. Now, I'm here with my friends Boris and Tanya, who are longtime Zagreb residents, and we're going to be exploring Veliki Tabor, Kumorovets, and Trakoschan today. I'm actually a lot smaller than the real castle. So Veliki Tabor is very interesting for its pentagonal shape, and it's one of a number of small castles built in Zagorje uh, to defend Croatians against the threat of the Turkish army. The threat of Ottoman occupation, of course, died out centuries ago. So we hopped back in the car to stop at Gresna Gorica, where they keep the age-old tradition of slow-cooked soups made from local Zagorje mushrooms yes, called Vrganja. Oh, thank you. So you can see it has really, uh, it has actually, it's not just from Vrganja, it has all sorts of uh, wild mushrooms some in it. Some are poisonous, some are not. Yeah, it so who, <laughs> who survives it's will Russian see. Gold. <laughs> <laughs> but it smells fantastic, you get this sort of foresty... Yeah, actually, this is a, a soup for two, and mm -hmm. we already have three plates full, so I don't know what to... And after the soup made from verganya mushrooms, we had to try the sonetchi goulash. Dario Serna, this is for you. you. Dario, you forgot to text me the other day, by the way. <laughs> what you, never call? You, you, you never call. Supporting your team, supporting your career, and you just leave the little people like me to eat food like this. Tummy's full, we hopped back in the car to go to Kumrovets, birthplace of Josip Broz Tito, who was Marshal of Yugoslavia in the mid 20th century when Croatia was still part of it. In Kumrovets, you can also see traditional huts called hije and traditional toy makers. Now, our friend Matia is also from the Zagorje region, and he's working with an organization to preserve some of the local traditions here in a village called Brestovet Orehovichki. And he is going to also show us around his factory, which produces a local side dish called Mlinci. Famous, famous meal here. 
Okay. So, but we didn't have a Turkey story in Well, it's straight. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, Shkrupli are very famous uh, not only in Croatia but in the whole region. Uh, even in, in Serbia? In Serbia also in, Yugoslav in former Yugoslavia. Oh, wow. it's, it's very famous because uh, they are known. And after all that food and learning about Zagorye traditions, we said goodbye to Matia and his family, and then went to our last stop in the region, the 13th century Chakrishan Castle. Now walking in, you can see it's Gothic architecture, and maybe while on the ramparts, Croatian couples making out. And then if you walk along the exterior walls of the castle, you can also see a pretty cool frozen lake. When you're looking at the lake, be sure to say Zimaye, uh, because it's frozen in the wintertime. And that was our little day in Zagorje. So hey, if you've been here before and you've witnessed the beauty of the traditions or the local landscapes, let me know in the comments below. Thanks again for watching and vidi mose. And so this right behind me is the Nama where Tito bought his clothes. Uh, there was a socialist mall back in the